Hello and welcome back guys. Today we have something very very innovative for you all. That is a make gator. Today our mock-up object is a make gator. So let's get into it. But before that, let me remind you, go and check the description box if you want to download the paste kind of this mock-up for free. So now, without any delay, let's dig into it. First, as we're doing all the mockups, we will take the pin tool and then we will press Ctrl plus and we'll zoom in in the picture and then we'll create the points. There is there are a lot of curves, so we will be fast forwarding this. Just so you save a lot of time, we can just show the crucial parts. All right, we have seen these parts in all the videos that we have done so far so it won't be a problem for him if you feel like you can just slow down the video or you can go and check out our other videos where we have showed the selection in a slow motion all right now we have taken our anchor point tool and we are adding many points to make cover all the curves to make all the curves prominent Select very very carefully because this is the very crucial state for the mock-up as I've said in all of our videos because this selection has to be prominent and very fine. Without that your mock-up will not look really realistic. Alright? If you select less there will be a white outline and if you select more that will be you know out of your shape and it will look absurd so make sure you do a fine selection we're fast forwarding that doesn't mean you have to hurry either take your sweet time and do it very very carefully so now as you can see we have almost done let me just yes now we'll Press Ctrl minus and zoom out. And then as you can see the layer is created. Now we can take a rectangle tool. We will place it. Then we will take a solid color. We will take Ctrl T. Before that convert it to smart object by press right clicking on it. And then we will decrease the opacity and then we will press Ctrl T and transform the object. Alright? transform this self, smart object we will, and then again we will press right click on it and then we will select wrap then as you can see we can just after that we can just make this movements and you, you will adjust it as the object is all right just so after Placing the pattern, it looks realistic, okay? And then press right. And then press control and click on the shape one. And then as you can see, there's a selection. And then we will press on the masking option. Alright? The moment you press on the mask, as you'll be able to see that the whole picture has been updated. So after that, increase that fader option from the upper part. Just so you know that um, that sharp edge that we get, it will be smoothed out a little. That will make it look more realistic. Now we will go to the pattern and take it and place it on our smart object. Place it nicely, making sure that it is visible and then save the picture and after you save the picture then only it will be updated in the PSD files. After you have done, then delete the shape one. Now we will we will press Ctrl G and separate this smart object from the whole gator from the 
background all right then we will press ctrl z twice more to make two more copies all right so there will be three copies and we'll name this as light midtone and shadow and the editable part that we had the masking part that we will um, change it into red color the, just so it is distinguished all right that the part is editable then as you know that we have named them light midtone and shadow and for the shadow we will go to linear burn from normal for me too, we will make it linear does add and then we will go to images, levels and adjustments then adjust the levels as you want you have to make sure the focus of the light alright so from where the light is coming you will have to adjust it in that way and there then we will switch up the light layer and from there we will go to screen and then images levels and adjustments and then adjust the levels the moment you feel like well right this is it it looks nice then you stop and the till then you do not get the satisfaction you can keep adjusting so as you can see the pattern is darkened a little lot so what we'll do we'll go to shadow and from there we will go to Multiply from linear uh, bird, we'll go to multiply. Whenever you feel like the shadow uh, is too much, you can just from linear bird to multiply. All right. Now we can take magic wine tool and we'll select subject. So press on select subject. And as you can see, the sun subject has been selected. Then press control shift by pressing them together and we will press on the masking part of the smart object all right so what are we pressing control shift and the masking part and then from the upper part we will select inverse after we have selected that we will take a solid color and we will choose the color as you want then press ok and that we will change into normal to linear phone as you can see the background is also there the gator is also there and everything is there and it looks better it looks like an advertisement you can add your text or whatever you like that's it for today and make sure you color the editable parts in the red just so it is distinguishable that's it once you're satisfied and done you can stop that's it for today thank you for watching